welcome back to my channel, Nicole, of course. Today I have... Your boy ZCC in the building! <laughs> and today, I don't know what that was, so please don't ask. <clears throat> Like a drag. Are you excited to see me? I am excited! Ah. <laughs> My lips need some chapstick, they've been so dry. No, but today we are doing one massive nacho! Yes! And um, if you guys did see it, if you didn't skip forward, I actually filmed it, putting it, you know, all together and stuff like that. So, I thought this would be a really dope idea because I always wanted to like lay out either like a nacho or um, a seafood boil, mm -hmm. like lay out some uh, newspaper or tin foil, whichever one, mm -hmm. and then um, it's really easy to just wrap it up and throw it in your fridge when you're done. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, I know you're getting yes. ready to dive right, in. Right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, bow our heads and pray. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, guys, so if you did not catch um you know it from the beginning uh -huh. um we have meat on here lettuce tomato onion jalapenos mm -hmm. guacamole uh -huh. um fresh jalapenos did i say that already i don't know mm -hmm. um i'm glad you decided to get circle chips i hope it's like circle chips over the triangles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's some good tasting chips too mm-hmm Good crunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, cucumbers too on here. Mm -hmm. Basically, the same way I make my tacos. Yeah. Just in a bigger nacho form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do you prefer the round trips over the triangles? Mm -hmm. I think it's better dipping wise. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I just like dipping. This guacamole is really good. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. I actually seasoned it up. Mm -hmm. And this time, because they weren't fully ripe, mm -hmm. I decided to put it in my Ninja blender so that it comes off, you know, it, it gets blended mm. thoroughly. Mm. I don't know if that's like makes a difference or not. It's really good. Yeah, I actually like it. This There's would be perfect for a game day. Yeah, you're right. Mmm. 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 And that's all finals? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, looks like this one has more meat. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You got a dig. Uh -huh. And. A lot of it is up here just so that they can see it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So really take um, bites from up there. Mm. Yum. Should this be a challenge? Mm. Actually, with someone's recently, we just did a challenge. Really? Oh, yep. Is it uh, part of the mukbang community? Yep, yep. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. So, mm. but it's with uh, Hot Cheeto Puffs. Mmm. Uh, Hashtag the canners. Yep. That's different. Mm hmm Huh. Okay. Uh, so I was going to say, what made you think of doing nacho? Oh, uh, I just wanted, like, you know, something I can just throw together real quick. I kind of sort of already did this in burrito form. Um, if you go a couple videos back. And I just realized... It's basically the same thing as I was putting it together. So I apologize for doing like basically the same thing that I just did, mm -hmm. but uh, with a special guest mm -hmm. this time. And get ready because I have some questions for you in a little bit here after you chow down some more. Some questions? Some questions, just random, nothing like specific. I just basically what I do is um well when i can't think of a topic <laughs> um when i'm at the gym listening to like podcasts or just other people's videos whatever i'll jot down in my notes like questions that i want to or topics that i want to talk about questions that i want to ask so mm. so where you get these questions from podcast mm -hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Okay. The uh, chips went out. My mm. gums almost. Mm. That's the worst. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good. What you think? I love it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the it slightly happened to me. Basically, like you know, when you start cooking something, mm -hmm. well, rather cooking it and then sitting down and eating. You're not hungry. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. I'm still hungry. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not totally. I don't know. Yeah. I'm still going to eat. I'm still mm. going to eat for sure. I'm not like not, not hungry. Mm. But by the way, there's also queso under here, guys. You just can't see it. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Did you get it poured? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And for me to say I love it, it means a lot because I'm a natural connoisseur. Number one nacho? Applebee's. Mm -hmm. Best nacho you ever had? Applebee's. Ow, you're hurting me! <laughs> <laughs> but also, they haven't put no hot sauce on this this whole time. Oh, you're right! Mm -hmm. You don't even have your hot sauce in here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I had to go pick up some Tabasco. Your place you see was running low. I'm gonna go if she's shouting. Alright. Okay, one more chip. You continue to eat. And I'll start on these questions because, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to start them when we're already done eating. I wish there was more guac and jalapenos because honestly, I just want to take full scoops of the guac. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm. I kind of want to save that because I don't want that. Hmm. Can, you, can I keep this? You can take it with you. Sure. Excuse me a bit. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot. Like that guac that. is actually really good. You need to make me some homemade guac. What? You need to make me some homemade guac. That is. No, I'm saying you need to make me some so I can have it at my house. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I wrote them down. So, mm -hmm. first question is, if you had a kid or kids, would you let them, what age, and would you even let them in general be an influencer? Mm-hmm. And would an influencer, I guess, would an influencer even be around when you have, I guess if you had one, like, soon. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, 100%. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think there's nothing wrong with this job. Mm -hmm. uh, but what if they're, that. like, very controversial and, you know, they're not... Mm, that's their life. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I'm gonna let my kid be whatever he wanna be. I'm saying he, because I know my boy. <laughs> But I'm going to be whatever you want to be, do whatever you want to do. Now, obviously, I'm telling from right from wrong. I believe I'll raise my kids right to, to be smart about it, you know? So what if, okay, they became an influencer and all that. They mm -hmm. got pretty big. Uh-huh. Or say, you know, you and your mom was still doing your thing. Yeah. Maybe not full time. Yeah. But, you know, maybe some of... The subscribers went on and found your kids yep. um, on social media. What would you do if they got into like a worldwide scandal? Uh, what I'm supposed to do? I'm gonna sit up on the side. Oh. I mean, you can give them some kind of advice from you know, not saying that you ever had a scandal, but you know, maybe some other influencers that have that you know wasn't that great. So you can. Well, a worldwide scandal sounds like something that's out of my. Uh... Expertise. That sounds crazy. <laughs> well, why scandals out nuts? <laughs> well, I mean, and of course, it'd be my best to be a father. I really, it really depends on the situation of what the scan scandal is, you know? Yeah. So many scandals you get in, you scam, you what? It's a crypto zoo scam, or, you know? So, yeah. 
what if you found out your kid was scamming money from their subscribers saying like oh yeah it was a gofundme or something but really to save up for xbox or whatever i talked to i'm hopping on i'm hopping on the <laughs> okay no, so definitely tell them it's not right gotcha gotcha and um yeah check it what age would you let them Mm, now that's a good question. Because um, I don't know, it's so hard. Because you know, you could say I'm not gonna let my kids be on social media until they turn this age. But are you gonna have a tablet, kid? The thing is, is um, kids. Uh, if all their friends have social media, it's hard to tell them no. You know what I mean? I say everybody in the school has social media at 10 years old. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell your kid, no, oh no, my parents don't allow me to have one. And even if you are, technology so bad, they probably, and kids know how to use that stuff so young, they yeah. probably sneak and made one behind your back, you know? Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that, something like that. Oh, thank you. But, um, yeah. Thank I gave you a couple pieces. That's one thing women do. <laughs> women, well, they're using tissue. Don't even get me started. So wipe one thing off their mouth. We're not going into I this. Gave you this is a whole other topic. Three pieces and to wipe. You watch one smudge with three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other topic for a different day now. But um, what I was saying though, um, having a kid. Uh, Would you let your kid have social media? What yeah, I just I don't start? know what age. Honestly, that's a hard question. I don't know what age is a good age to let your kid get on social media. Plus, so about I know it's like um, when all the other kids are doing. It, obviously, I'm not going to base it off when other kids are doing it. But it's just hard to, you know, I don't want to be that person not letting let my son feeling left out. You, you know? don't want to be a helicopter parent. Mm -hmm. That's what they call them. Helicopter parents, strict parents, or helicopters? Mm. Like. Micromanage? Mm. Hover. Hover? Hover over them, like uh, look over their shoulder mm -hmm. and their business. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, that'd be hard. What age would you let your kids? My kid's not going on social media, and they're not having a cell phone until 12. <laughs> I'm not even having kids. <laughs> so you don't want your kid to get on social media? I don't know. Who knows? You what? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have a cell phone until 12, so I think they should have a cell phone until 12. Yeah, but times are different. Yeah. Would you let them have a TikTok? You're right, you're right. If TikTok was... Still around, or if there was, if there's something around that's like TikTok. Uh -huh. Well, I really don't see nothing crazy wrong with TikTok. I know, like, I don't use it personally. I know, but a child on there, and when people are showing certain things, they are. <coughs> I really don't know these things. I truly, <coughs> I'm not kidding when I say I don't be on TikTok at all. How come you don't? I don't know. Are you just not into it? You know, I'm sure. Are you just not a scrolliosis? Mm -hmm. You know the honest truth? Mm -hmm. I think I'm jealous. Of what? Of TikTok. <laughs> How? What do you mean? I'm like, cause since I'm not doing nothing on there, it's like, uh, You don't want nothing to do with it? Yeah. You're like that with a lot of things, Devin. <laughs> since I'm not doing nothing, it's not, yeah, since I'm not doing nothing, I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm not paying attention to it, you know? Mm. So I don't know if it's jealous. It's just like, since I'm not on there and I'm not doing nothing. But I never was a social media guy from the get go, you know. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But um, yeah. When I say I'm truly not, only time I want that app is uh, mm -hmm. when someone sends me something from that app. What? No. Um, when someone sends me something. I thought from it was that something, app. but I'll tell you later. Mm. <laughs> yeah, when someone sends me something, but. That's about it. The trend with the with the lights, the lights are on. Oh yeah. And then the flashlight. Yeah, How'd that. you know about that one? I see those on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see those on Instagram all the time. 
Mm. And everything just gets shared all over. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it now? Mm -hmm. Does it now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what they're all saying. Dang, you really went in on your side. I like that challenge. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, I'm sure you there. Yeah, everybody just dancing wild. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> did you see Northwest do it? Uh uh. She did it. Was it lip? She's becoming very active on social media. Northwest movies. seems like and one of those bad kids. Like one of She I guess <laughs> supposedly I think Kim says that she is she teaches her patient kid North teaches Kim patience and like grounds herself. And what I just heard recently is that North and Penelope are going to be taking over or tearing down the empire because they be telling on them all their secrets. I don't even like I only knew North's name. I don't know another other kids. Oh, there's like 25. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know none there of, are a lot though. No, none of the other kids' names but North. That's crazy. But what I was gonna say is um I want to clarify when I say she's like one of the bad kids, I'm not talking about like a menace of, like a like a uh innocent bad like you know yeah yeah i know what you meant okay i just wanted to make it clear like yeah i'm not like a bad kid she needs a whooping type deal it's no. just like a uh a bad like uh like she will tell like how you said she will tell all the secrets she she will tell the truth about things that uh, you can't say that nor mm -hmm. she seems like one of those like why is that? Why does that guy look like that? Like, no, you can't be oh, saying stuff like that. One of her, well, she flips off paparazzi. paparazzi you know what I mean? So does um, is it Saints or Sam? Oh, well, I do know Saint. I heard Saint's name before. Um, but one of the little boys, the one that's into soccer. So Kim's taking the kid to, to I'm telling you real quick because uh -huh. they probably already know. But anyways, she's dropping them off at soccer. Clearly, she set up the paparazzi because they're all outside. And she's dressed to the nines. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Did you say she set it up? Yeah, all the uh, celebrities mm -hmm. set up their pap their own paparazzi shots. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I don't pay attention. So anyways, mm -hmm. he gets off the car. What's that? Oh. My fruit punch thing. The little boy gets off the car and goes like this. <laughs> Uh, I think I see something like that. I thought that was Wes that did that. No. And then she was like, no, you can't do that type of deal. Yeah, I think I see that. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, they're going to be like that. Well, they're not only going to be like that because, but Kanye is like, you know, mm -hmm. I do what I want when I want. I say what I want when I want to. Yeah. Well, I'll say is, um, no, yeah, they seem like that, that kind of dad where they just, uh, they just act recklessly. <laughs> they seem like that kind of dad. Are you full? Uh, no. So why would you ask me? <laughs> All right, hey. listen, just kind of, you know, did you go too hard the first time? <laughs> Are we helping each other? <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah. Mm. I only have three. <laughs> Out of all this, we hope something. Hey, y'all, let's do a video. I have questions. Why I have, I have questions. Kept on telling me you actually been wanting to do this video for what? Like a week. I feel like two weeks almost. Oh, maybe. So finally came over to do it, and it's only three questions. Yeah, I mean they're not like super. I don't know. There's just something to talk about. Oh, I thought it was some good questions. The, so these aren't good questions? I didn't say they weren't. I thought it was like some juicy questions. What? Sexual questions? I don't know. I was just saying juicy questions. Are you using this? Yeah, I actually was. Well, I want to lick it. I want the sour cream. I literally was waiting for that. Here, you can use this one. No, I want this sour ah! cream. <laughs> but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather... If you're dating, if you find someone, you know, if, okay, if you begin to date someone new or whatever, are these boring? <laughs> what? If you decided to find someone to date, whatever, would you... Say about four times. So say that they already <laughs> have their job, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Would you prefer, would you want to work with them at home? Like, would you say quit your job and like, you know, come be, like, come do this with me or say if you did anything on social media? No. Oh, uh, no. I'll let them do their job because, uh, I mean, that's their career, obviously. If oh, they love they it. <laughs> Okay, you're pretty talking. much you're pretty much saying if I if I met a girl she had would a career. Would you prefer a nine to five job and then be out of the house and you be an influencer, or do you would you like the fact that say if her nine to five was at home but she had her own office, mm -hmm. like you guys are all constantly together all day every day, or would you want some separation? Oh, I don't care. Either or works for me. I'm not like you. You don't like to be around humans. <laughs> me, I can handle being around humans. I mean, whatever she does for work, she does for work. Plus, if she's, uh, even if she's working at the house and she had, uh, got her own office set up, then, you know, I'm not going to bother her. She's going to be in the in her office while I'm doing me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know you would want that person out and about. Yeah. You don't even want to live with your person. <laughs> so. <laughs> in my dream world, I would want to, like, be with someone, but I would want to live separately. Nicole can't have roommates, you guys. Nicole can't have a roommate. She can't have... A boyfriend that lives with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about when it's, your mom is becoming of age and she needs uh, someone to take care of her? You send her in a nursing home or you take care of her? No, I will take care of her. I'm not that mean. I'm not the Grinch. Mm -hmm. Ah, make it different. <laughs> you know what? Mm. How would you feel if the next person you dated was like, you didn't know this? Well, I guess you would have to know. <clears throat> hmm. How should I put this? Like an undercover Instagram baddie. Like, but she just didn't tell you that. What? And not like 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 sexual she's just like was super known on instagram i don't know <laughs> i'm just trying to come with, up with stuff on the spot can you help me out <laughs> you want me to ask you questions or something no i guess i'm not prepared <laughs> dang it but um Your videos are trash <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> what? What? We said, we said. So this, I'm entertaining. I'm doing videos. No, 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 no. This is what you're telling me to do, right? You ready? I said, you want me to ask you some questions? You said no. So you want me to help you pick the questions for Dalvin? Mm -hmm. So you want me to think of questions for Melissa? Mm -hmm. Dalvin, what would you do if someone came and break through the door right now? Hey, well, I guess what I'll do is. That's what you want me to do? <laughs> huh? Okay. I have another one for you. All right, go on. What do you think about when you're dating someone and you're running to the store and you tell them, Mom, oh, I'm running to the store. Do you want anything? Uh -huh. And she, or he, not me specific. I uh -huh. guess I am asking specifically you. She would say no, but she really means yes. Would you, do you understand that logic? First of all, do you get girl logic when we say no, but we really mean yes? Uh -huh. I've been getting a lot about women lately, and I'm learning that you guys are delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what guys, do you mean? I know you. I'm noticing you guys are very crazy. <laughs> Can I go in your packets? Um, that's a whole conversation. You guys are very <laughs> narcissistic, <laughs> but you guys love to use those words towards men. Oh. Very manipulative. <laughs> But, um... Do you want to debate about this? But, um, just like that show I was watching the other day, this woman flipped the skirt. Pretty much I watched a show called... I forgot what it was called. But, the woman flips the skirt. You're right. You forgot what it was called. Yeah, I did forget what it was called. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. A guy came to her about some things that he wanted. They are living together. He said, hey, I like the house cleaned. It. I, like, I mean, we, I want to keep the house cleaner. You know what I mean? And he does his oh, part, yeah. keeping the house clean. She was like, and then she somehow flipped the whole script and got mad at him. Made it seem like he's the one that's the problem. Mind you, he's the clean guy. He's the one that was, there's nothing wrong on his, on his end. <laughs> but now he's make she flipped it to make it seem like, you don't like me for me. And no, like, what? I'm actually to clean up after your mess. <laughs> How do I not like you for you? 
<laughs> I'm like, that's that's literally crazy. Women I have to see this. I'm show. wondering women can't take accountability. Yeah, you guys I, I thought I thought something fell in my mouth. Yeah, can't take accountability. Mm. Well ladies, let's start talking about these men. <clears throat> what what about us? Oh, you know what you see this the, well okay, let's talk about this. The, you didn't let's question. talk about this. The trends that are going on. I have been seeing the trends going on with uh women not being okay with fast food chains. No. What yeah, about listen, that? <laughs> this is how you know me and Nicole have two different algorithms. Nicole's algorithm is Britney Spears and she's in captivity. And then my my algorithm is is red pill content. <laughs> What's that? Red pill? Red pill content is really uh <clears throat> Is that dating. a channel? Just not -uh. it's like dating content. Just the just how society works and what men and women and Where are you watching this? There's stuff that just pops up on my Instagram feed and oh. stuff of that sort. But not my YouTube. My my YouTube's a whole day. My YouTube right now is cell phones, cars. Hmm. What else is um, oh home decor? I'm actually be actually been in. That's a new uh, thing uh, I've been on lately. I've been really heavy into watching uh, home vlogs. Those are lit, low key, and uh, and decorating for. Uh, Decorating homes. You were telling me, but little... masculine decorations. Like, uh, I don't. I mean, there's so many women that do it. I, I want to see like more masculine things because I'm trying to get ideas. But what are you saying? Oh no! Screaming over me. Cool. Yeah. First. Anyhow, no, you were gonna explain something to me um, before you went on a tangent. Doesn't mm. mm, ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, did you see that uh, basketball fight? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the reason was? Because I was yeah. watching it at the mm -hmm. gym, but obviously there's no sound on, you know, Clay, TVs. Uh, Clay Thompson and um, McDaniels got into a little scuffle. Yeah, but why? Um, I guess McDaniels was holding Clay Thompson's jersey. Yeah. And Clay was, I mean, Clay was trying to uh, push him off, and then they got to push him in that thing. Then Rudy Gobert comes to pull Clay off at McDaniels, and then Draymond comes to pull Rudy Gobert off of Clay. Hmm. And Draymond ended up getting behind the guy, choking him out. And okay. Then, I don't know names, but. Um, and it looks bad right now because um, well, he had some instances of uh, people recently. Well, he just got into it with another guy off of Cleveland. I forgot his name. I know his name. In but. the be in the beginning of a, I mean, in the middle of a thing, yeah. a game. Yeah, but it wasn't like physical though. It was just going back and forth. And oh, then, did this recently just happen in yeah, the game? Yeah. Uh. And then um, he just. Uh, no, the other one, not the one. I yeah, did. yeah, yeah. That one happened like a week ago or a couple of days ago. And then recently, well, not recently, last year, he ended up punching his uh, teammate in the face during practice. So he probably has to do like some anger management mm, classes. I probably have to suspend him for a little bit. I mean, this Does makes he get a fine? this makes it look worse. You know, probably gonna get fine. The well, NBA I mean, choking someone out who looks pretty bad. Yeah, um, <clears throat> there was some guy who did it before. A guy named Austin, but not Austin Reeves. Uh, I forgot what this name do. What do his name? He's uh, a son of an NBA coach too. I forgot his name, and I'm having a blank. Like I don't know basketball. I literally know all these basketball players' names. Okay, the person he got into it was Donovan Mitchell. That's the guy from Cleveland. He got into it with just a little verbal altercation. Forgot his name, and I can't think of the other guy's name. He, son of an NBA coach, and um, yeah, he. Uh, what am I gonna say? He uh, choked someone out before, and they only gave him a three day suspension. So no fine. I would have to think that they have some kind of time. No, I think he probably did get a fine, but I didn't really look too deep into it. But I know he got three days suspension for sure. But I don't know. That's it. And Draymond comes to be looking at something longer because he just has a history of, uh, of being violent. Well, not being violent. I really don't think the guy's <laughs> violent because I know there's a couple instances, but. What do you have to do to fully get kicked off? Like banned from the NBA? Mm hmm. Mm, crazy stuff. Unalive. Yeah, well, John Morant got suspended for like half a season for showing his firearm on on live, which 
I don't agree with. Yeah, he was acting a fool with it, but I kind of understand because it's like the NBA has rules. Like you're part of a league, you're part of an association. Like if yeah. your job says, hey, we don't allow this, you can't do it. But also, if you have a right to have a gun, you I mean, you shouldn't be dancing. He was dancing. He was in a strip club with mm. And then um, also, what else? And then he was like dancing with it in his car. Mm. So he got in trouble. Got, uh, uh, he was pretty much suspended for like half the season. If he got another, if he did something else with a gun, he could probably be suspended for a whole year. Dan or almost kicked off the, off the NBA. Mm -hmm. What? This? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a firearm. Yeah, but do something with it? Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about even if he just shows it, if he brandishes a, a oh. firearm, the NBA is just going to um, throw him the book. Because mm. he already had two instances with it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know, you never answered my question. What was it? If you're dating someone and they said that, it, you said, do you ask me if I wanted something from the store? Do I understand the logic? Yes, and would you still get something? So if you said, so say I like Reese's and Starbucks. Uh huh. And I was like, I'm going to the store. You want anything? You said no. Well, I come back with something still. Yeah, or flowers, or um, Reese's uh -huh. and Starbucks, mm -hmm. or you come back with nothing. You say you didn't need anything. <laughs> So you're one of those. <laughs> I mean, well, this, this is the thing. This is where women are crazy. No, and, everyone and, knows. And, everyone knows. This is where women are crazy. No means yes. No, no, that's that's the delusion women <laughs> have. You can literally just say, "Hey, yes, can you please pick me up some Reese's?" I know, but you're supposed to do it anyway. What? <laughs> All right, I, okay. And you should know we want some. <laughs> Yeah, hey, it, it, it needs to be done. Not the no, same. What? How's that not the same? Not the same. How's that not the same at all? No. Uh -huh. What do you mean? What are you talking about? We need some top. So we need some top. <laughs> all the time. All, it's the same. You should know this. <laughs> How's that not the same? Well, then I need Starbucks and candy all the time. Mm -hmm. If you want Starbucks and candy, when I tell you I'm going to the store, I said, hey. Then no means yes. Uh, see, but it doesn't work always like that. It does. And some guys get it. <laughs> so you're not coming back with anything. Empty handed, huh? Yeah, she told me she didn't need anything. You suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this a personal attack on me? <laughs> All right, but... <clears throat> Uh, okay, what if she, she asks you, mm -hmm. and even though you were like, nah, I'm okay, mm -hmm. and she still came back with whatever your favorite candy is, or chips, mm -hmm. what if she came back with your favorite chips? Mm. Say, I wouldn't expect my favorite chips. How did you find that? And I'd mean, be oh, yeah, I'd be very grateful and happy. But if I'm not hungry at the moment, I'm like, oh, thanks, babe, I'll just save this for later. But you're still happy that she came back with something for yes, you. Yes, first of all, you're acting like I would never, ever come back with nothing. But it's not every trip that I go out to the store and she says no, I'm not coming back every time with something. I'm not coming back with something every okay, time. Okay, how about this? Okay, you're, you didn't ask. You didn't even ask that question. You just went out to the store. Um, random store. Or you were just running errands, whatever. And you were out and you seen something that would either like look good on her or you know something that she would just like say if it's I mean you don't have to go extreme to like jewelry but that's just an example or like a, say a giant teddy bear or mm -hmm. whatever and you're you come back would you come back with something on a random day it doesn't have to be a holiday or a birthday or anything just with a random gift just to surprise her what would I if it's not a birthday or holiday? Oh my That's god! I'm, 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 of course. Are you thoughtful like that? Of Are course. you thinking of other people as. Because I do that. I When I'm shopping, I'm like, oh, you know, like my mom would like this or whoever. Mm. Not all the time. Yeah, of but. Course. Yeah, I feel like I'm like that. Hmm. I feel like I'm a sweet guy. Yeah, no, it would. So what would it be? Well, it depends on the person and what they like, Nicole. <laughs> Every, everything's different for different people. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> or what about what about if you she's on her menstrual 
would you go out and get her? Say she's like, oh, I'm really craving some ice cream. Yeah, I'll go grab some ice cream. Do you think I'm some evil villain? No, I'm just asking. Yes, yes, I would grab some. Would ice you cream. go buy her some feminine products if she needed some and she didn't want to get out yeah. of bed? Yeah, I don't. I think that that's like a, a teenager mindset of saying, oh, I'm not buying tampons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's some stuff people say when they're like. 13. What if she needs tampons, Midol, um, some, my dog. it's to get rid of cramps. Mm. Um, there's patches as well to like get rid of your cramps, like a whole like get well basket, but mm. for your... No, send me pictures of everything you need because I ain't gonna know. <laughs> no, this is what bulk buying comes in. When we go grocery <laughs> shopping, I'm going to no, Sam's Club. No, I'm talking about the thought of mm. it. I'm going to Sam's Club. We're buying big bulks of it so you don't have to do this every time. See, you're thinking about the thought. I'm thinking about the convenience. No. I'd rather just go to Sam's Club, buy bulks of whatever you Sometimes need. Sometimes we just want you to show up with big presents. <laughs> yeah, that's simple and easy. And gifts. Okay, we can. Wrap. Uh huh. We no, there's no, no need to wrap it. It's not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't like those. <clears throat> candy bouquets that you can get from the store like that mm -hmm. like a, a bouquet of <laughs> not specifically that but say, that's just an example yeah 100 percent. i feel like yeah yeah 1000 <laughs> percent. okay how about this <laughs> you're out and about yeah and you guys are together for a while whatever mm -hmm. and you come home and she's like uh, I gotta tell you something, or, hmm. I don't know, basically presents you with, like, a pregnancy test. Mm. It depends on how long I know that person. That can be a scary thing, because I'm scared to have No, this. like, you guys are, like, definitely together, like, it was, yeah. but you weren't, like, specifically planning it, like, an exact time. Mm -hmm. Well, when I say I'm scared of babies, I, I mean the, the whole idea. Just I need to make sure it's the right time, perfect time, like everything's going. So you would want to plan for one. One hundred percent. I can't. Okay. I can't do. I wouldn't want to do no unexpected. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I couldn't do no unexpected babies. One hundred percent got to plan for one. So that's the reason why I went this long without no children. Almost. The dirty 30 with no kids. When you're proposing, would you do anything like hiding the ring in like a cake? Or I've seen some movies where like they put the ring in the, the yeah. champagne glass. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. This is something that guys don't think about. This is things that women think about. Oh, what's going to happen on my future proposal day? I think guys think about it if they're truly in love with someone. Correct, yes. And Correct. <clears throat> I'm, I haven't been. I haven't found that girl. I'm like, oh yes, I'm about to propose. So I haven't got, had that that thought of what I'm about to do for a proposal. I bet like proposal day is something women dream about. You don't have to be in love. It's just like a fantasy. Got it. Men don't think about those kind of things until they're in that position to actually do it at that time. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm not talking about the whole wide world. You guys say, well, are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> No, but majority of men don't fantasize about proposals. Got it, got it, got it. Makes sense. But okay. Yeah, I would want to do something nice though. I don't want to just be basic AF and uh, do a, a typical dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do though. No clue at all. Nada. Zilch. So you've never <laughs> been like super head over heels for anyone? Mm -hmm. I would love to be super head over heels. Same. Mm. Uh, well, let's talk about who you've been Snapchatting. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nicole came over with the groceries. My uh, subscriber. <laughs> Nicole came over with the groceries, was cooking the whole time she couldn't get off her phone and kept on. And you're doing Snapchats like, like when Snap first came out, talking through Snapchat pictures. And I never do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm in love. No, I'm just playing. I'm not in love. <laughs> I'm not in love, but um, I don't know. You're in deep like? I'm feeling it out. Are you in deep like? <laughs> what? What is a deep like? It's not in love, but it's not, but it's more than a like. Or you just like this person? I just like. I like them. Ah, 
I can't say too much. Why? Do they watch? No, because of something else. <laughs> Do they watch? <laughs> because of something else. Does this person, okay, let's talk about this conversation. Ah! Does this person know about your channel? Yes. Mm. Does he watch your channel? I don't know. Do you tell him not to watch your channel? Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when you tell people not to watch it, that they're going to know. Uh -huh. it. Mm -hmm. No, I tell everyone that um, that watches me don't because. <laughs> no, that I know, like, personally, just because... But I, don't you want the supporter? I you? do, I do, I do, <laughs> yes. But I just think I'm so cringy. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, a little embarrassed with the people that I know. Like, but that's personally. everybody who does their own content. No one likes to watch their own content back. Yeah. The only times I like to watch my own content back is when it's my vlogs where... I, Cause I'm like proud of my vlogs, like especially when I have a videographer. Yeah. Because when I have a videographer, that's when I get the most creative. Because now I have unlimited things I can do. And you're not the one editing. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm saying that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 100. percent Yeah. Yeah, because when once you have a videographer and have an editor, oh, that's when I'm the that's when you get the the best doubt. Creative uh -huh. juices flowing. Because now I have a vision and someone can implement my vision. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of you taking on this whole big project. Mm -hmm. That could just be over overwhelming. Mm -hmm. if, especially if it don't smack. It's the videos that, that yeah, people that's, you that's, put the most work in that don't hit. Oh, that's one little fact. I, one little to, uh, it, 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 it like it, it literally takes a, a little piece out off of my heart every time. You <laughs> the know? videos you put the most work in, they don't ever smack like it that. It really does mm -hmm. suck, and it just ruins your whole self esteem and and the videos everything. The videos where you look the worst in. You oh, that's the ones that go crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's usually the ones that you do. You look the worst in. Yeah. Go oh my guys. gosh! Literally, mm -hmm. like. A video specifically that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. I was wearing some kind of lipstick, and I remember that day I hated my hair. Mm -hmm. And the video just was like crazy numbers. I think it was the highest view video. Yeah, and I I remember. Do you remember that day specifically? Because I, don't I knew. That day specifically. Oh my gosh! I yeah, I hated my hair, and I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm just We're going sides too. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody, go watch our most viral video together so that, <laughs> what? go watch our most our, most, our video that got the most views together is nicole and i doing sides you know what we should bring back uh, our like most epic videos um what you mean re not reenacting but redo like some of those yeah just do them again I feel like we're doing them though yeah but there's like specific ones mm. that we should do on my remember channel remember doing an octopus yeah i will never do that again <laughs> what you don't even remember the taste uh, I was the one that cooked it. Yeah, it was rubbery. That's it. Yeah, and it ruined my life. Why? Because it's gross. It didn't even taste nasty. I think it's just since so you know what it was. Because otherwise, it had no flavor. I'm not doing it. it had no flavor I'm to it. I'm not doing it. I can't wait till your boyfriend comes and says <laughs> <that again. laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I want your oh, to replace you in the no, video? I, 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 I can't wait to get a boyfriend because I can't wait to do collabs with this guy. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. Are you? I want to uh, collab with him. I need a collab. So you think I'm going to just introduce y'all? Why wouldn't you introduce us? I don't know. You think it'll be awkward? I don't know. Would you, would you, would you want me to be your boyfriend? I don't know. Why not? I... Uh, not because of you specifically like you as a person mm -hmm. i just don't think it'll be awkward <sighs> i can introduce you if, if i knew you're okay with it i can introduce you to a girlfriend well i know i don't think you'll be okay with it though <laughs> <laughs> oh, i don't think you'll want to be you wouldn't want to be in my girlfriends oh, no. i actually would love to meet your boyfriends I would love to meet them. I would like to, whatever. But you know what I mean. Like I'm saying, if you were to have a boyfriend and things that work out, like every boyfriend you had, you yeah. know what I mean, type deal. But um, I love to meet the guy. I would be like, ah, so this is this is Nicole's I, I, type. I, I, huh? I, 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 that was nice. I would love to go out there. Imagine <laughs> if I had a boyfriend, you had a girl. Like we're all sitting together all right, as a nice. family eating yeah. this. I'm letting you know if that if there came a time where we could all four get along, if we all. You had a boyfriend, I had a girlfriend. I promise you, we hit the mill ticket. I already know. I already you know think so? Hit the mill ticket. I know what I'm doing. I promise you. Because the thing is, I'll get excited for YouTube again. 
Okay, want something sad? Okay, let's put it on my channel. No, something sad. This is. Mm, <laughs> This You're the one that wants. The only way we can do this is you can meet my boyfriend if it's on a video on my channel. Yeah. I'll, oh yeah. The introduction, meeting him, would we'll love to be on your channel. No, all four of us meeting. What I mean, I mean, yours, your meeting. No, not on your channel. <laughs> when you introduce me to your boyfriend, I would love to go on your channel. If I'm introducing you to my girlfriend, you come on my channel. Okay, then the collab, all of us, is on mine. They're spitting your eye. No, nah, I don't know. I was a joke. Um, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, th I'm thinking of some bangers for my channel. Well, no, I am too. Mm -hmm. But I want to have a sit. I'm having a sit down interview with your guy. No, you're not. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you think the dynamic? How do you think? You're... I don't know. <laughs> I, I know I'm going to be talking. To I feel honestly, I feel like if we all four did a collab, everybody would be quiet but me. Because um, I feel like the gr well, girls are going to be quiet and the guy, he's just going to be out. My person is not. He's what? More quiet. He's he's quiet? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, gangsters move in silence, I guess. He's <laughs> 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 a quiet guy. That's what you like. So you like the silent type. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I don't have a type yeah, yeah, you say because that. if i ever did bring this person to youtube i don't think it's what you guys are expecting oh i would love to meet him love to do an interview and you actually know what's going viral right now what well i don't know you probably don't watch this sector but a lot of these people are doing sit um i'm having to sit down with this person so, for example, I was watching, um... What, like a sit-down deep conversation? Yeah, like, so, for example... About what? Just, just catching up, like, King. You know how King and Neek broke up? He's had... Yeah, go ahead. He's had, he had a, oh, having to sit down and talk with my ex. You know what I mean? They did it together? Yeah, yeah, they did a video, and that video smacked. Then he also had a sit-down talk with Corey. You know, there's a lot of drama with him and Corey. And, um, oh, yeah, Carmen yeah. had a sit-down talk with Neek. Yeah, so it was all. Well, we don't. What? So it has oh, to be no. someone you have problems with? Well, it's like someone kind of felt. I mean, not problems, but. Well, that's, what's the interesting thing of me and you having to sit down and talk? Everybody knows. Well, like, nothing. Yeah, but it's like if. if uh, but, but my point is, I don't have anybody that I have an issue with. I know, that's because, well, you never done nothing with anybody else on YouTube. Collab or you mean like. Oh, um, uh, well, do you have any beef with collabers? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Do you? I, I, I definitely don't have a movie for collabs. But um, or uh, just like uh, let me try to think. Um, well, me and Mark didn't fall off. Me and Mark were. Uh, we were but together. I'm sure it's back because then, he hasn't yeah. been on your channel. But me having to sit down and talk with Mark. But it's really more people you kind of fell out with. Like there's drama. But yeah. That's what makes it smack. Like for example, though. Well, you, I don't know if you're watching because I was watching YouTube back during the prior days when it was like. Queen, Armand, Trey, and all of them were in a clubhouse together. Yeah. But Jazz and her girlfriend Tay. Yeah. Remember them too? Yeah. They had to sit down. Ooh. She said having a face to face with my with my ex Jazz, and they were like a big couple back then. Yeah. Back then. Is she dating someone now? Uh, I don't keep up with them. Oh. I just saw that like and those those right now. I think King started them. Shout out to King. He started those. I well, I don't know if he started them, but. He's the one I see first do it now. I see it's a trend now. And Tay did it with Jazz. I'm like, oh, that's smart. I think get like 700,000 views. Mind you, her channel's averaging. But probably, the thing is, like. Her channel's averaging probably like 20 something K. And then she smacked 700,000. Because people are like, oh my goodness, this is what we want to see. Right. But question is, how long has like they, like how long has it been since this beef started? And then who reaches out to who? And then what if they're like, no, like. If you, I'm still mad at you, or like I still feel some kind of way. Exactly. Then. Or what if they do a setup? Like, yeah, I'll do this, and then once they sit down, they just start going crazy, I'm like, oh, hectic. <laughs> that mess gonna go viral. <laughs> I, I need to think of something like, not like that, like just, I don't know, a challenge or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, mm -hmm. those are good ones. Dang. Like for example, you know, we go crazy, and now you're having to sit down with Jalen. Oh yeah. That was smack because people. That's an old couple. They haven't been together in so long. Nair's doing her thing. I'm sure uh, Jalen's doing her thing, and the people would like to see what like what happened. You guys just abruptly ended. Let we, we want to know about. We don't know what's going on. You know. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a good one. 
So that would yeah. be a good one. Is there anybody you can have a sit down with? Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm friendly with everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think your your next big thing is introducing us to your little your uh us? your crush. Yes, because I'm interested. I will tune into that video. <laughs> and learning uh meeting Nicole's crush. Meet my crush. I don't know if he is a video person. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <clears throat> Cause imagine like okay, so imagine the next person you meet is like I don't really want anything to do with that, you uh, know? Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Like they'll be to get they'll be with you, but they don't want to be on camera or anything. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm not dating now because obviously you're not either. But we wouldn't be dating nobody for social media. I don't do fake relationships for social media. You know? No. So I'm saying I wouldn't care if she said, "Oh, I don't want to be on YouTube." Yeah. Because I'm not. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Because not. I'm not gonna like yeah, end. Right. I'm not gonna end things with you because you don't want to be on my channel. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I feel like it would kind of also be like a. I mean, not saying that, um, just because, you know, you don't know people sometimes, what if, say, just for example, if they were dating you just because you are this persona on the internet. Mm -hmm. So I guess that would kind of put down a red flag, you know, mm -hmm. if they were like, no, I don't really want anything to do with that. Oh, that will put down one. Okay. You said we'll, we'll put down a red flag, meaning the red flag's not up no more. Right, like it's a good no. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. No, I 100% get it. But, you know, I feel women always say that, though. <laughs> what? Like, I'm well, not with you because of this? Uh, I don't care about your YouTube channel. Women say that all the time. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a young specimen like me. You hear it all. Yeah, <laughs> <Save it. laughs> all. But no, this like, that's like, I'm this not just, this is like for anybody who has something like, that's something that, people will think like you're known for. For yeah. example, like a basketball player, every woman tells, you know how many NBA players probably hear, oh, I'm not here for the money. I don't care about your fame. You know how often they hear that? Yeah. You know, how often actors hear, oh, I don't care about being famous. I'm just interested in, they probably, that's like, they hear that shit. I mean, they hear that stuff every time. That's yeah. how passionate I am about it now. But um, no, they hear that stuff every day. It's like, oh my, you said you're saying the same script every other woman does. Just like how women yeah, are so good. used to guys coming in their DMs saying, Oh, you're beautiful. Like, yeah, every guy says that. Well, that's name, you know? Yeah, I guess, but I mean, I don't know. Or you know, one thing that person. men always hear from women, you guys all sound like a broken record. <laughs> oh, I'm not Please like these me. I'm not like these other women. <sighs> okay. Yeah. And guys say that too. Yes, Please. you are. You're just like every other woman I've been with. Oh my god. <laughs> what do guys be saying? Well, Alright, tell me a comment. I'm not like, like every other guy. I'm gonna treat you better. Actually, the tactic is don't tell your next guy what your last guy did to you because that's how he will he will keep that same energy and he will think that it's okay because you, you did it with the last person. Oh, is this some experience you know? Or no, I'm just saying. You heard this from podcasts? Podcast. Okay, I didn't know. So, okay, so you're saying if, uh, if you tell a guy how the last guy treats you, he's going to try to treat you the same. Why do you think... Or the, not do, like, more for you. Like, why do you think the guy... Okay, so, and let me play devil's that way. I'm not saying this is why you should do it. You know what I mean? Or why guys should be doing this. But I feel like guys probably do this, but, well, if he didn't have to take you out and he didn't have to do this, why would I put all this effort towards doing this for you? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying this is the what the guys are thinking. I'm just letting you know into the minds of what are guys thinking. Exactly. That's why we're not supposed to tell you. Uh, yeah. Do you get it? Yeah, but... <laughs> All I know is since it got dark at 5 o'clock, my day's been ruined. How did you get to that? Huh? The yeah. No, I want to know, and I don't know if this video is getting too long. What is something that, a thing that you hear guys say all the time? Like, well, what's a common line that you like? We can be girls... friends. What do you mean? How, how, what, what, what? You got a boyfriend? Yeah, well, we can be friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. Because the thing is, we're trying to see how faithful you are. Because then she, eventually, if she still gives you her Instagram number, and she's still talking to you, all we know you need is conversation. We can get our foot in the door, a little bit of conversation. <sighs> oh, that's what I was talking about. Where did we stop? Women are not letting men take them out to chain restaurants no more. Why? Women are women are saying, "Oh, if it's a, literally women, there's a, like this thing of a list of women saying 
if it's a coffee date, if it's a grabbing drinks date, if you're taking me to any chain restaurant like Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, whatever, TGI Friday, that, this, that, that, I'm not willing to go. Stop. Yeah. It is a thing right now. Okay. I'm not agreeing with that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not it's agreeing more, with I, that I feel one. like it has to be for social media. I mean, yeah. there are probably some women who agree with it. But um, that has to be for something like what? Like what? Uh, uh, what was that? Yeah, for I mean, I like, yeah, hold yourself like high on a pedestal, but don't be too good for, you know. Mm, yeah. Because you just look like B word. Mm -hmm. Guy says, hey, I love to you out. I love mm -hmm. to take. All right, but the thing is, be honest though. I'd love to take you out to eat. Can you, I don't care. Uh, let me. Can I pick you up? That is how that right. Picks you up. He pulls up and he says, uh, "Right now, Chili's seven o'clock." Well, like, listen, he said, "Right now, Chili's has a three for me." Cool. I'm down. Let's grab some margaritas. Oh, yeah, that's a good humble personality. There's a lot of women who are not like that. Oh, I'm totally down. Yeah, not a lot of people like that. I am so down. But would you date a guy? Who, uh, do you have a minimum requirement for money? That's another big thing going around. What women are requiring a man to make per year? No. I mean, like, do, there's actually. Do good for your, like, don't, like, I don't, no, I don't have a specific number, but like, don't be, like, don't not, like, not have a job at all, you yeah. know? Unless if you're like, Going to school and like trying to, I don't know, move up or something. Mm. What about you? Men don't care about that. No, I'm saying, do you have a, oh, for the, for the women. Men don't care so about Because you know what? Learn, what I've been learning are men are the actual true lovers. And this is what. <laughs> saying the one, they won't come back from the store with uh, flowers and sweets. Men are the ones who actually love for love. Women love. Uh, for just what you provide, you know what I mean? Not everybody. But majority of women, we're talking about. We're talking. Whenever we're talking about these conversations, we're talking about the mat, the majority, the masses. We're not talking about the few percenters. Well, I'm the few percenters. Because so man, part of the mass. A man will be with a woman who who's, who's uh, doesn't have a job. A man will be a woman who lives with her mom. A man will be with a woman who who just only has a high school education. You know, a man will be with a, a, a woman who has nothing going for her. So she could, a, a man will be with a woman who's a McDonald's employee. You know what I mean? We don't care about that. We're more interested in what, what how, I apologize. We're more interested in you and uh, your values and how you act and the way you are and how cute you look. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Women, if you're not making XK a year, if you're not, if you're not this minimum height, if you don't dress this minimum way, I mean, if you don't dress this type of way, if you don't look this type of, we're not, they're not interested, you know? Oh, you don't have a house, you don't have a car. We, we, a man would date a woman with no house, no car. You can live with your mom and take Ubers to work every day. We'll still be, we'll still be with you. Mm, if a man, if a man did, if a man had no house, no car, even you, you wouldn't probably be with him. Well. This is not about me. See? <laughs> See? And then women don't want to take it. They love them. No, no. Well, we're not. I don't know. There's actually, there's actually, I just watched a, a short about a woman saying, this is not about me. And I think he, <laughs> a woman, no, he was asking how much a man has to make it. She said 300K. Mm -hmm. 300,000. And then, oh, no. No, 100K. Not a year. Mm -hmm. A month. She said the man has to make 100K a month. 100K a month? A month. And then he was like, okay, so if he's required to make 100K a month, then what should you be making since he's making 100K a month? She's like, this is not about me. Oh. Is it not? And then now she said, then she end up responding, I should be making dinner. So oh. a guy, you're requiring a man to make 100K a month and all you can provide is dinner. Dinner. Well. <sighs> Uh, We're in an apocalypse. We have some opinions on that, but I don't care to share them today. We're in an apocalypse, a dating apocalypse. That's the title. We're in a dating apocalypse. I think I, I know what I think, but I don't. Oh, share your thoughts. I don't care to express it right now. Because you don't want people to come. I know people are going to either, I'm going to have two people. People who agree with me, people who don't agree with me. But guess what? If you don't agree with me, come in my comment section and let's have a debate. Yeah, go to his because <laughs> I'm not having that today. I'm way past having that. Debate. Or if you agree with me, come on, because we I want to bring the positivity though too. If you agree with me, come on, comment section. We can just 
talk about how we both agree that it's a dating apocalypse right now. I just want everyone to get off their high horse and stop being so damn bougie. Like, humble yourself a little bit, honey. Mm -hmm. Stop acting like you're the freaking, I don't know, if you're not fucking a guy on a yacht and going to Paris and Dubai. Mm -hmm. Social media got everything twisted. Everybody would think they're supposed to be living this lifestyle. I that lifestyle would be lovely. Don't get me wrong. Oh, 100%. but it's not realistic for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what, and also another that's thing, what everyone thinks right now. Another thing is too. Twenty twenty got a lot of people messed up. People was getting stimulus checks and all types of stuff, and money was looking great back then. So people, uh, a lot of a lot of guys were stunting back then. You know, was having a ball, and now it's looking different. You know. All I know is I don't care about how much money you have. I care about how you treat me. And if that's with your date of McDonald's love employee. and respect. Your date of McDonald's employee. Yes, I would. If you treat me like I am the best thing that walked on this earth. <laughs> No, just like open doors uh -huh. and no, I'm not saying it's not wrong with snacks that. Snacks and let's uh -huh. have a little movie, like you know where you lay out all the blankets mm -hmm. and watch a movie in the living room. Mm -hmm. Say if he had that ready already, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I want that kind of stuff. I want to go on adventures together and hiking and enjoy each other's company. Didn't you say you don't like being around people? Well, I want I want my one person that I want to actually be around, uh -huh. that I like to be around. Yeah. I want my one person that I actually genuinely like. Mm -hmm. Nothing that he does pisses me off. Well, I don't know how. Obviously, there's gonna be things that. Make there it will lie. be, but less than other people uh -huh. do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want that one. And you think you could reciprocate all that? Yeah, one billion him, percent. Like the best person in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think when you find someone that they bring it out of you. Uh huh. You know your good qualities. Mm hmm. But also, there's nothing. Well, people will, and this is for men and women. Men will wait for a woman to show herself for him to start doing that, or vice versa. Women will wait wait for a man to treat her like the world for her to start giving him the world. Mm -hmm. It, you're My, saying it should just start in the beginning. Well, I mean, if you guys are interested, equally show each other that love. Equally, yeah, you know, I agree. But people don't. I don't feel like you wouldn't even. I feel like you'll want. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, we have to end this now because of my storage on my phone i know i'm ridiculous so where can they find you at snapchat instagram youtube twitter and tiktok all is at a chunk check that is e a d y c h n k c h n k you guys can find me here on youtube and instagram and nicole of course on snapchat twitter tiktok it's nicole of course with two e's at the end facebook is nicole of course with zero spaces we love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in and if you did get to the end of this video, please put a like some kind of like burrito nacho emoji in the taco comment section. Emoji. Yeah, taco emoji, good one. Um, so I can know who finished the video. All right, guys. Bye. Love you.